I think that's a really good point. You know, I didn't want to mm. take it here, but another part that we need to acknowledge is the amount of xenophobia coming out of this whole experience, right? Three Asian bros right now on stage. This could scare a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I'm subscribed to a Facebook group right now that's called Crimes Against Asians. Yeah, I'm not doing that on purpose. And like, I am like just seeing people on the subway just getting knocked out, getting attacked because they're Asian and this thing originated out of Asia, whatever. It's a scary time. And during panic modes, during these pandemics, like, yo, it doesn't give anybody an excuse to act this way. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I'm not going to lie. When I went to the grocery mm -hmm. store this morning, like, I was a little bit, not concerned, but just, like, trying to overcompensate how careful I was, you know what I mean? Like, wearing gloves and, like, like walking in with, like, a trench coat and just looking like I've got my stuff together. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel like I was walking on eggshells because people are like, oh, this guy, it's like, dude, he's Asian. He might have it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's just... The media is perpetuating this fear. Fear feeds fear. Ignorance feeds ignorance. And that's just the way we're going into more polarizing opposites. And that's just the way we are. The one thing that you guys should understand is that like you guys are in LA, which is very, very diverse relative to other places. Mm -hmm. There were places on this last tour where I literally felt blatant acts of racism against me because I was Asian. It was, what was that? You, you told me about that. Yeah, it was, it was, it was Buffalo. in Buffalo. Yeah, it was the rudest i hadn't had that in a long time but it like literally i don't want and i'm i'm always the last person to say like that was a race thing so for me to say that was a race thing it means a lot but it, <laughs> they're like oh like this place has really good wings we should go there blah, blah blah we went there and they're like oh we don't have seats for you i was like and this is like even before this virus stuff happened but they were like oh no we don't have seats and i was like okay there's 10 of us like, we'd like to sit. And he's like, we can't seat 10 people. He's like, we can split up into groups of two or four or five. It doesn't matter. And he's like, yeah, but I know you guys are 10, so that's not allowed. And I was like, so if I walked in and I said, I have four people, and the people right before, after me walked in, we have six people, that would be okay? He's like, yeah. I was like, okay, well, then let's just do that again. He's like, yeah, but I know that you have 10, so it's not allowed. I was like, how does that make sense? Like, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. basic math. Um, and then it was, and then it, and at that point, it was just the Asian people on our tour bus that was there. And then it was like, oh, okay, like, here are the other people who are not Asian. They walked in, and then it was finally like, oh, okay, well, like, you guys are going to have to split up, split up and sit differently. But, like, if you really want to eat here, then, like, we'll put you on the list. Put us on the list. And then we sit around for 10, 15 minutes, and this dude walks up, and he goes, um, this is a chicken wing spot, right? And he goes, oh, um all of our fryers stopped working. So like, we don't have any fried food. I was like, this restaurant is packed and the only thing people are eating mm -hmm. is fried chicken. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, like we're just going to leave. And he, and he was like, well, you don't have to make a big deal about it. It's like, I'm, I'm leaving. Like you said you don't have it. And then as we're leaving, there's like another group of non-Asian people right behind us. And he goes like, what? Like I just told him like our fries broke and they're just so pissed. I was like, no, we're, you said we can't, you can't serve us. Hey guys, did you guys like that video? Then make sure you guys subscribe to Dive Studios YouTube channel and put your notifications on because we got a lot more great content coming your way. Look at this video. See? Wow. Wow. And this, and this is great too. Enjoy.